This has been the Johnson Automotive pregame show, and we're right into the opening kickoff as Jackson Dieterle will put the ball on the tee here for Ferris State. The line up here on a four-receiver set. Third down and call it to about seven yards to go here for the Tigers. Out of the gun, Warford back to throw, has time. Across the middle Got and it. wide open. Blown coverage as Washita Baptist is going to strike first. Touchdown to Chris Oliver right down the middle. Beaver's empty, empty backfield. Five receiver set here as Warford works out of the gun. Ferris State showing blitz, four man front. Now they'll back away and send a three man rush. Warford aired it up. Oh, down the field, breakdown. he's got Harris again. Inside the 20 and down to the 10 yard line. It will be Harris in the empty backfield working out of the Wildcat here for Washita Baptist out of Arkansas, Arkansas. They'll send a man in motion in Freeman. It's Harris, uh, nowhere Nothing. to go, and he's going to be stopped. As I think he was trying to step up and throw the ball, but had no chance there against the Bulldog defensive line. Watch. As Antley will line it up off the near side hash. Ball has plenty of distance, and it's up and good. And, and about six, Travis Russell on a quarterback, and Russell right up the middle, cuts back to the near side. Russell to the 30. And, uh, finally ran into one of his own blockers in Milford in the empty backfield. Five receiver set here against the Bulldogs. Third and about six here from the 34 as he'll send Freeman in motion, a couple men in motion. Now Thomas moves back to the backfield. Trips right side, one man left here for Warford, looking to the near side downfield. The Bulldogs look, look, get it, get it, get it. pick up Freeman, and Candy, I think, intercepted it for the Bulldogs. Yeah, great job there, ball underthrown. And Jaleel Canty right there to pick that one off. Bulldogs will much need to take a The South here at Top Tiger Field. Fourth and seven, hold is down, kick is on the way, has the distance, and is it up and good? It is, and it's in the second quarter. Bulldogs with Bell back on at quarterback. Reggie uh, back to throw it now on the run. Bell has time, and on the carry, Bell bounces to the near side. Reggie to the sideline! Into Tiger territory, still down the sideline. And finally out of bounds down inside the 20 yard line. Well, that's the explosiveness of Reggie Bell that we haven't seen quite as much of uh, with him out of the lineup. But he uh, turned on the afterburners right there, going down the uh, near sideline. Made a great juke move about halfway through that run and got deep into Tiger territory. See, here in the second quarter, Travis will send a man in motion. And give it off to Jahan Brown! Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the Bulldogs get to the house for the first time in this game, and that feels good as Jahan Brown, the senior, able to carry it in. Jahan Brown, the senior from East Grand Rapids, off the handoff from Russell. The Bulldogs able to utilize uh, three different runners on that drive. Here in the first half, the Tigers came out in front early and scored the first 13. The Bulldogs, though, have cut it back to uh, six here at halftime. 13 to seven, our score as both teams head back to the locker room here at Top Tiger Field. RT3 lined up left side of Bell again as it will be RT3 on the sweep to the near side. And Robert Thomas the third has the first down, lowered the shoulder, stayed on his feet. And out of bounds into Tiger territory at the 48-yard line. To the near side, off the foot, bouncing kick. Oh, boy, did Freeman he touch may that? have touched it. Picked up by the Bulldogs. Finally down at the 10-yard line. Boy, oh, boy, right, right there through the hands and through his legs. And the Bulldogs get their first big break, big turnover break. Big special teams play for Ferro State as the special teams unit does it again. A bouncing kick from Jordan Drake Craig to hold here as the Bulldogs await the snap. Craig gets it down. Kick is on the way by Ford. And it's up and good. And Ferris State has cut it back to three at 13 to 10. 36 yard line. Tied in in motion back to the center of the field here for Washita Baptist. They'll give it off to Oliver. Oliver being chased down by the Bulldogs. And they lost another it again. fumble again. Picked up by Jalil Canty. Touchdown, Bulldogs. No flags on the. Oh, well, you got a late flag here, but I think it might be after the play. But I think that touchdown is going to stand. Jalil Canty picked it up on the scoop and score for Ferris State as the Bulldogs uh, with a flag here uh, at the 19 yard line. And we'll wait and see what this call is going to be as the defense starting to come alive here for Ferris State in the second half. Well, I think, Rob, it's going to be maybe some kind of sideline. Two yard field goal try for Cole Antley. Antley lines it up here up the near side. Hash kick is on the way. And it's up and good. As the holder for Washita Baptist is Shelton Woolley, the punter. Hold is down, kick is on the way, it has the distance, and 
It's up and good. And it is the Bulldogs one yard away from reclaiming the lead here against Washita Baptist. Travis will take the snap here for Ferris State. Russell, left side to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And Travis leaves no doubt there as he's able to power it into the end zone and the Bulldogs regain the lead. What an answer by the Ferris State offense. They needed it here in the fourth quarter and they got it a big offensive drive, driving the length of the field and they reclaim the advantage here with 6.13 to go in the ball game. Defense Maybe two uh, with another off. opportunity or two here for the Bulldogs to try to make the stop. Second and long. Eight seconds left in the contest for Warford. Back to throw. Five receivers in the formation across the middle. Ripped off by Thomas. Tevier Thomas with the game-saving interception for the Bulldogs. And Ferris State going to victory formation with three seconds left. There we Drew Harris uh, with a few words for the Bulldogs, but good sportsmanship there to end it as he shakes hands uh, with some of the Bulldog players. Uh, penalty called on the Bulldogs for the celebration uh, probably at the end of the play, but nonetheless, the Bulldogs are going to get a big victory, 24 to 19. Tavier Thomas, the GLIAC defensive back of the year. Ferris State is moving on as the Bulldogs survive and advance here in the NCAA Division II football playoffs final score 24 to 19 as the Bulldogs will move on to take on Fort Hayes State next Saturday out in Hayes, Kansas.